Did you purchase a CNC machine, a CNC router that takes only eighth inch carving bits? You know, the limiting small millimeter little carving bits, but you have all these quarter inch bits that you would definitely like to use on your CNC router. Even 20 degree carving liner bits you might have. Well, in order to change over that bit, you need a cullet that accepts the quarter inch bit. My CNC takes the ER11 cullet and cullet clip, or cullet retainer. So the first thing you want to do is remove the cullet using the supplied wrenches with your machine. Unscrew it all the way so you are now able to change out the cullet from the inside of this retaining clip. And you can see up close, this is the eighth inch, and it's actually pretty loose, so I'm going to show you now how to easily pop it out to put a new one in. I like to use my vise, but you can use any flat surface that has a open area in the middle. So when you push down on that cullet, it will pop out and drop right between that gap. I'm just going to use a 5 16 screw and hit it with a hammer and it will knock the cullet right out of the bottom. And you can see that here. It is free and open, ready to insert the quarter inch cullet into it. Now, let me explain something. I do honestly think the best thing for you to do is get a separate retaining nut for that cullet. Because I'm pretty sure that if you keep swapping the cullet out and in and out and in, something's going to wear out. So I definitely think that you should buy another retaining nut. And of course, I have the ER11 retaining nut for a quarter inch cullet and one for the eighth inch cullet. Now, putting the cullet in that retaining ring or retaining nut is very easy as well. I tried to do it with my fingers, but I'm just not strong enough to push that in. So now I'm going to do the exact opposite of what I did when I took it out. I'm just going to lay it flat and tap it in with the hammer. And there it is, loose as can be, but it is firmly placed inside of that retaining nut. And now it's the same thing for the eighth inch. I'm just gonna put that in, make sure it's sort of flat and tap it with a hammer. And there it is right in place. Super simple, anybody can do this. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Go put this cullet back on your CNC machine and start carving your designs. If you're new to my channel, definitely check out some of my other videos.